Uh, welcome to my blind playthrough of Octopath Traveler here. Yeah, so I just got to Victor's Hollow again, and it's time to start a new quest line. And this is going to be this is going to be Presses Chapter Three. Let's listen to that. After learning of the Merchant's Fair, you head to Victor's Hollow to find an item worthy of the auction. Eventually, you make your way to one of the shops. Okay. Let's go shopping, I guess. Let's go shoe shopping. In Quarrest, Tressa met a fellow merchant named Ali. He told her of the Merchant's Fair in Grandport, where the greatest treasures in the realm are put on auction to auction. And so Tressa vowed to find a very worthy treasure, hoping to prove herself a merchant of a mer merchant worthy of respect and renown. So it was that the two promised to reunite at the fair. It's about time I updated the notebook. On my way to the merchant fair in Grandport. I'm on my way. First I need a treasure worthy of the auction. So I've come to Victor's Hollow to find one. The owner of the of the this book found what he was looking for here. Hopefully I'll be as lucky as he was. Mm. Alright. Time I had a look around this place. Yes, let's do it. All right. Let the search begin. Let's. You see there, lady. Excuse me, could you tell me about this map? Hmm, that old thing? Don't really know where it came from. Found it in the storehouse and thought it about throwing it out at first. But I figure I could make at least a few leaves off it this way. Oh? Mind if I take a closer look? There are traces of old lines where it was redrawn and it smells of the sea. From the looks of it, this map was very special to someone, to the one who drew it. Oh. I think there's something written here, but the characters are strange. Hmm. I'll be darned if you can read those scribbles, young lady. Huh. My dearest friend, here lies the most precious treasure, Balthasar. Balthasar? As in the dreaded pirate Balthasar of the Eastern Seas. And this is his then this is his treasure map. Yes. Sure seems that way. It must be worth a fortune. Give me that. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Luck is on my side today. Now let's keep this between us, young lady. Here, I'll give you some candy. <laughs> I didn't come here for candy. You shouldn't have uh, given away your. your uh, shouldn't have read that. Mm. Ressa, whatever could this pirate treasure be? I'm not sure, but I'd like love to find out. Wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be amazing putting your faith in that ancient map, sailing the high seas, braving tempests and storms? Oh yes, what an adventure that would be! Why, just imagining it has my heart all a flutter. Ophelia. So you have the spirit of the of adventure in you too. I certainly do. Oh how I yearn for some for the romance of the open seas. When I was just a small girl, I'd often watch the boys playing playing at pirates. Oh, I used to play at pirates too. Captain Tressa, Scourge of the Seas. Don't you know it? My what you bought my motto was another day, another treasure. I can see you now, wearing a bandana and brain brandishing a wooden cutlass. I overdid it did it at times. Sometimes the boys would break into tears and run home. Yes, I can see that too. Right. Um, so I'm going down here then. 
clever. Phew, time for a break. I, I already wrote in my diary today. So I'll give the notebook another read. <laughs> in this world there are countless treasures, but only one is precious to me, and I'll journey until I find it. What would that be? Huh. Yet only one treasure in the whole world? Of course he shows up. Hello there! Good to see you making use of that notebook. <laughs> we meet again, lass. Mr. Leon! Mr. Leon, what brings you here? I should ask you the same. Don't tell me you ran away from home. <laughs> uh, not quite. I just decided it was time I saw the world. And I have you the notebook you gave me to gave me to thank you for it. Thank for it. Oh. Aha. Thank yourself for shooting and choosing it, lass. Thank me. I'll be ready to make a grave for me hammock. Hello. Hammock. Oi, ain't ya? What? Mick and Mac? What the heck are they doing here? Mick and Mac, you brain bird brained ninny. You're that kid that's what gave us quite a lashing back in Dripple Slime. Dripple Slime. It's Ripple Tide. Didn't you two learn your lesson yet? Mick, that's quite I enough. Captain! Apologies, Captain. Captain? <laughs> Aye, our pirating days are behind us. Be behind us. We're working under a different flag now. Got that right! That day opened our eyes to the greatness of Leon Bastral. Now we're having the honors of calling him our captain. Whoa. I'm glad to see you two singing a new tune. Well, as am I. They've been doing very well under my command thus far, but still have a ways to go. All right. R right, you are, Captain. Now look alive, you half-drowned doo, doo. There's work to be done. Doo -doo. So, lass, how do you travel? Your travels well, fare. I'm still I... learning as I go, but I have a goal now. I want to sell something incredible at the merchant's fair. If I can manage that much, it'll prove just how far I've come on this journey. You don't say. Well, there's certainly no better place than the fair for an aspiring merchant like yourself. And what exactly is it you've deemed worthy of the auction? <laughs> I wish I could tell you, but I still but it's still waiting for me to find it. Find it. <laughs> Oh ho, a yet undiscovered treasure, I see. And I wish you all the best in your search, lass. It's gonna be, turn Thanks. out to be the bad guy in this story. I hope not. Thank you, Mr. Leon. By the way, what brings you to West Victor's Hollow? It's the home of, of an old friend. Passed away around this time of the year, so I decided to pay him a visit. Were you too close? Hi. I, Baltasar and I were like brothers. Oh. Baltasar? I say that Baltasar? Which Baltasar, lass? The Baltasar who drew the map I found earlier. Could it be? They may just be one and the same. Could you show me where you found it? Yes. Yep, follow me. Hey! Excuse me, sir. It's me again. Welcome. Welcome back, young lady. I trust you managed to keep you, the, the you-know-what's secret in the meantime? Yeah, about that. Not quite. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, but I couldn't. Hmm? What do you mean, you couldn't? What do we have here? Pardon, pardon the intrusion, but I hear you might possess a map belonging to Baltasar. Who are ye? Who are ye? This is Captain Liam Bastral. 
Oh! L -l 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 Leon B -b -b Pastral, scourge of the seas. I don't want to believe it, but there's no mistaking that blue spear. I heard about all about you and your famous words. What were they again? The strong take while the weak quake. Those are words best forgotten, sir. This is... Ha! Do you take me for a fool? I know you're just here to loot my store. <laughs> I can assure you I came for no such reason. I, I cast aside that lifestyle long ago. Hmm, this certainly looks like one of Balthasar's works. Hmm. Antique dealer. You really don't plan to steal it, do you? I see. So the rumors of the great pirate Leon and Balthasar being friends really were true. Huh? Oh, he sounds different. I beg your pardon. If you two work as close as the stories say, then I'm sure you'd do anything to have this map, am I right? But... However, it's a precious family heirloom and I cannot part with it without recompense. What? But earlier you said was just going to throw it away. Hmm. Mm. If you're truly THE Leon Pastral, then I'm certain you, you're well versed in the treasures of the realm. You see... I am but a lowly merchant, you see. Nothing in comparison to your grandeur. There is one thing we have in common. A desire, desire for a certain treasure. Have you heard of Edbart's shield? Edbart was a, was a servant of the king of Arian. His defense with the shield was said to be impenetrable. Legend says he used that same shield to protect his liege until the, the tragic fall of the kingdom. I heard a rumor that it's been spotted in the very in this very town town as of late. Curious timing, isn't it? Both a fabled pirate and a fabled treasure in Victor's Hollow at the same time. <laughs> if you happen across it somewhere, Mr. Brustral, I'd be happy to trade it for the map. Uh. How dare you use that map as leverage? It rightfully belonged to Mr. Leon's friend. Well, that's a merchant for you, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you're mistaken. You are mistaken. Till we meet again. Thank you for showing me the map, and my apologies for taking so much of your time. Hey. Are you really just going to leave it without leave it without your friend's keepsake? Aye. That map map is not mine to take. Now shall I take I shall take my leave, lass. I'd like to celebrate his life with a drink tonight. Baltasar, I guess. Mr. Leon. He says he doesn't need it, but... I think a memento like like that is best kept in, in a friend's hands. I'll find a way to, to get it to him. You said you'd trade the map for Edbar's shield, right? I'll be back in two ripples of the tide. Sure. Sure, it'll be that easy. Here's some more travel banter. <laughs> you really want that map, don't you? I do, for Mr. Leon's sake. I could seal it for you, you you know? I'd rather you didn't. I can handle this myself. He wants a trade, and he'll have it. That's what I do best. I'll show him who's the best merchants around. Well, I see my help's not needed here. Thought I'd act the gallant type. But clearly, you're a lady who prefers a, the leading role. You bet. After all, how could I call myself a real, real mer merchant if I refuse this challenge? How indeed. Okay. Um, what's this quest? Hmm. Really? Got any news on anything like that, it seems.
think I stole everything from around here. I did spend quite a, quite a lot of time actually stealing around here. Got a few nice things also. Not from the sky apparently. Get a large oh, level of life now. I could get it for at a hundred percent rate. Hello. I get plenty of wares for from traveling around. That's for sheep. Edward's shield. It took me many journeys to amass such quality goods, but always looking for a bargain. Alright, let's trade that shield for the map now. Thousand ain't too bad. In terms of purchasing that. Ah, back so soon. I made a promise, didn't I? And I always deliver. It's a massive shield, alright? Mm -hmm. My word, I can't believe you actually found it. But the symbol, and this weight. And all these scars, there's no mistake in it. This is the real deal. Most great. Thank you so much, young lady. Here's the map, as promised. However, did you manage to get this shield? Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm a merchant. We have our ways. I bought it, obviously. Obtaining such a renowned treasure knows is no small feat. I can see you have promise, young lady, and lots of it. It's a pleasant conversation. All right, let's go to the tavern and uh, turn that map now. over that map. Mr. Leon! I brought something for you. Huh? Balthasar's map. Don't tell me you went to the trouble of finding the shield for that. Hehe, <laughs> 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 then I won't. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, lass. Mr. Leon, were you really okay with just leaving the map at the shop? You see... When you gazed at it, your eyes were so forlorn. I felt like it belonged with you. <laughs> your keen eyes never ceases cease to amaze me. Let me tell you a story, lass. About Baltasar and me. Backstory for Leon, apparently. We were but lads when the sea first called to us, and as we grew, so did our reputation. Baltasar became known as the Wild Eagle, and I, the Sea Serpent. Our ship flashed on the open ocean, and our names roared like thunder through the skies. Captain Leon! The storm be given us no quarter, sir! Let's turn back! The old girl can't hold on much longer! Anyone wanting to retreat can be my guest and swim back. I'll reduce this ship to shivers before I let him have my treasure! If those scurvy sea dogs get to that island first, we get nothing! You hear? Hold fast to that rudder, mateys! Uh, aye, aye, sir! Baltazar, that bastard. You're too slow, Leon. Aye, Captain Obvious. I think he'd have learned after all these years. Enough. Else I'll cut out your tongue and feed it to the gulls. Now I'll be taking this island's treasure if you don't mind. I do mind, but it isn't mine. Do whatever you please. Do 
ye remember when we were lads, Leon? Starving in the slump, stealing to survive. We dreamt of just growing up and had to fight tooth and nail to reach the top. Nothing was ever easy for us. In this world, the strong take while the weak quake, and we became strong. Ye never change. You say it like you're any different, Balthazar. Not everyone stays the same forever, matey. Matey? Balthazar, he was always looking off into the distance. His eyes gazed far, far away, towards a seemingly unreachable place. Time passed between us until one day. Can I tell you something, Leon? I never wanted to be a pirate. What? Oh, really? When we were lads, I dreamt of being a merchant. <laughs> Have you gone daft? Balthazar of the Eastern Seas. A merchant. You're a bloody scoundrel for life, Leon. Let it be the truth. I wanted to trade treasure from every corner of this here world and bring people together. I lost sight of the dream of becoming a pirate. But these days, it's all I'm thinking about. Leon. Do you have something precious to you? Aye, a fine storm this is. How about another wager, my friend? Whoever reaches that island first be the winner. If ye win, you get that gem you always wanted. Oh, uh -huh, will I now? And what happens if you win? If I win? Ye hand over your most precious treasure. Deal. Your most precious treasure. That's how our final race began. But Balthazar, he never emerged from those stormy seas. I found his ship several days later, wrecked on the coast. Balthazar had been the victor of our very last match. He the one who wrote that book. This map shows the location of the gem he wagered that day. The Eldrite. He called it the Eldrite. It Eldrite. It's the only one. It's on the only one of its kind in the entire world. <gasps> it was by far the rarest of all the treasures he'd plundered. But seeing as I lost our match, I haven't the rights to it. Oh, that's why I left it in the shop. <laughs> Precisely. You made a proper trade for this, lass. So it belongs to you now. <laughs> However you use it is up to you. Guess we're going to collect that gem. The Elderite. Hmm. Up to me. Mr. Leon lost more than just the ra a race that day. I think having a memento of his friend would cheer him up. And I wouldn't mind getting a closer look at more pirate treasure. Hehe. <laughs> All right. Time to put this map to use. So who am I gonna have to fight? Am I gonna have to fight the merchant in this one? Here, the final travel banter for this party at least. It couldn't be. Or, yeah, I think this yeah, should be final. Eldrite, the ore of legend. You know of it, Professor Albright? Oh yes, otherwise known as the Eagle of the Seas. See, so beautiful. Men liken it to the eye of a goddess. Or so my tomes tell me. 
I have never observed an actual specimen with my own eyes, mind you. It is also written that you can see, the, uh, an, uh, see an ocean inside if you peer long enough. A whole ocean? With fish and seaweed and everything? Ahaha. Ah, I would be surprised, to say the least, if the view offered quite so much detail. Truth be told, all the accounts are hearsay. Not one author has claimed to have found one of the stones. Though not for want of effort. It has long been sought after by pirates, kings, and would-be treasure hunters. And me, suddenly, I really want to find I really want to find it. Aha. Now that's the spirit. Alrighty. Okay, let's go to the Forgotten Grotto. Should I say the same thing as I said last lower mission? This shouldn't be too hard because I'm pretty overleveled. For most of my party. And I proceeded to have to use a lot of items just to survive in that fight. You never know, might go easier this time. Go here this time quick. around. Oh. Wind axe. My turn. Oh, this is still lost. Fail time. Well then. Actually brought those. I didn't realize I only had one uh, shield level. Here I go! The winds of fortune are howling! What is the logical course of action? Uh, just try the fireball here and see if it's <laughs> the weak to it. Feels quite a lot of damage still. Finished on the back once at least. Here's weakness. Alright, so we can level up for Trissa. Trissa? Trissa? Trissa. Back and get this treasure as well. The grapes. Well, play for quite a while already. Again, Tressa's storyline is okay. It's not one of the most one I'm. Well, it's not one of the ones I'm most interested in, but it's, it's fine. Or any paths anywhere around here. The yeah, Great Bunch was actually useful in the previous fight. That could also be useful. It's a scary looking snake. <laughs> right, anyone weak to access? Fatal touch! At least one of them. Mm. Uh, uh, anyone weak to swords? Uh, oh. Please don't kill Tressa. Uh, oh, close. Right. Let me just. Uh, To that as well. Alrighty, let's break the sea scorpions. Bring damage next turn. Fatal touch. Nice one. Well then. Go. 
all. So I gained two levels from that one, nice. That ain't bad, that ain't bad. This place has been pretty straightforward. Well, I might have missed something, I suppose, but pretty straightforward so far. Forgotten Grotto. Okay. Sledgehammer. And equipment to start. Not unexpected for it to be a staff. Actually, pretty decent. Elemental attack as well. Pretty decent elemental attack. Ready or not, here I come. Fire and wind. Leave <laughs> the fucking air bombs are being too staggered as they are. My turn now. The wind's a This one. Ah! Alright, let's break him now. Great inverse to stop the land. Kill them next turn. I believe in a way. Is the logical course of action. Ah! Great inversion! The lands! You should have studied harder. Right, level 18 now. Let's check over here again, the other path over here. Find this way. That's treasure down there. Time to teach you a lesson. Like the hat on the on the uh, skeleton there. <sighs> kind of ridiculous to be honest. Well, I guess you can just do a loss here. <laughs> That one, and then let's break the back ones. Now, what next? Oh well. My turn now. Oh, she's quite far behind the. Not surprising, she's quite a few Not levels bad. behind. A passing. Don't have the optimal equipment, actually. Hey, level up for Therian. Nice. And easier steals coming up. Probably here. Did I say there? Yeah, I think I saved Alright, let's go down here now and. This way over this here little bridge. Ready or not, here I come. Spears. <laughs> I don't know if it's weak to anything you got except it's like if it, it was a sword or something. A vampire background. Yes. Let's do that. Here I go. Stodge. Below shields. Now, what next? Oh, 
him with a nice one, and then I'll kill him next turn. Well then. My turn, the stronger one. What's yours or mine? Well then. The wind's of what is the logical force of I uh, should be fine if he's uh, uh, I think. You should have studied harder. Alright, Ophelia leveled up and Tressa leveled up again. That's pretty neat. Mindy at least now, so she is slowly but surely actually getting stronger. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to go, so I'll go first. What's this? They've been fighting stuff. So is that an accessory? That's what I'm guessing. So many, so many accessories right now. Instant death, that's not bad. Could be useful. Could be useful. In case I run into something that do does instant death. Okay, so like we're meeting yet just yet. I'll not be defeated. Yeah. Just do that and break the front one. My turn. Just do an HP theme. You're too. My turn now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Is it one of those fortunes? What is the logical course of action? Oh, ice! Here's some fruit. I really like Cyrus for the random encounter still, he's so good in them. Uh, not ridiculous, but it's very very nice at least. Alright, so I guess I'm at the boss now. Let me go ahead and check my uh, skills first of all, so you can learn one more. As well, I suppose. Now let's go with uh, let's go with SP Saber instead. Let's give you back the was it the dance right. Really 
really good spear. Get rid of this one now and instead go with something else. What do I want? one so he wives more I think. I'll keep the dragon scarf for now. Let's keep that one. Alright let's go ahead and save and head for what I assume is going to be a boss. We'll see who it is. Oh. Who or what it is. Headed this way. Okay, we to spears. What to do? Let's attack it with a spear. Ah! Now, what next? Let's go ahead and analyze it just to get some more of its weaknesses. My turn. Spear and bow. I don't have any of that with uh. Ethereum, unfortunately, is probably not. I'll not be defeated. Have spears at least. I'll not be defeated. An interesting dilemma. So much to learn. Get a weak light as well. That's useful. Ouch. Again, I think. Oh no! Guess that's what it did with the the ground there. Why it's poisoning me? Is that thing it did there? Um. All right. Let's do another attack. So I'm ready to break it. And I feel like it. Ow! What's this now? Final weakness is fire. This might actually be bad. Let's break it now, I think. Because I could die if I don't do this here. Uh, one boost heal more. items on with the character with, with this buff. Just get a lot of uh, extra BP. I'll just do a HP. What is the logical course of action? Now the true lesser is the Isn't that just this? Oh no! I'm missing my uh, uh, strongest character right now. Who do I donate BP to? Donate BP to Cyrus. For you. Vila uh. will actually be doing one of these now. Actually, let's summon. Let's summon. 
free damage. Though. Ouch! Stupid sweep. My turn now. Uh, right, let me. Prepare yourself. I'll try this one, I suppose. This one. One turn before I can actually break him next. Here. Turn. That could be a bit dangerous. Now, what next? Uh, Firestorm, unboosted. Wait, he's twice right. Forgot about that. Let's break it, apparently. Ah, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh well, that's fine. I really wasn't really planning to break him here. Uh. It's next turn now, so let's do what exactly here? Let's do... Donate BP perhaps to someone? Let's donate some BP. <laughs> Ophelia. No, oh, okay. Let's just donate BP to Ophelia. For you! My turn. Fully healed on him. An interesting dilemma. Now the truth sword, though. Uh, Total low. 14,000 damage ish. Around. Like the under 14,000 damage. I'll do my best. Uh, I can do a heal more now, because I will get hit twice at the start of the next turn, which could be dangerous. Bring about a miracle of healing! At or at full, 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 close to full life. It's 10 now. Yes! That's oh why no. I wanted that. Right. Wildfire. Don't worry. Well then. Alright, let's do one boosted. Heal more now. Bring about a miracle of healing. What's this now? Uh. A great inferno to scorch the land. Great inferno to scorch the land. Yes. My turn now. Alright, so what do I want to do now? Let's go ahead and do... Donate BP to Cyrus, I think. Okay, let's do that. I trust in your aid! Oh no! We can also donate BP to Cyrus. If this is a dumb, bad idea, but I'm gonna use this one here, and then I'll be hoping I don't die here. Fearless poison. What is now, that? what next? It's that poison. Why does it look like that? It's stronger poison or what? Let's use the peacock strut now. Yeah, let's do that. The peacock shall strut! 
my turn. Right, let's break him now. Or it. Break it now. Oh no! Donate. Donate to Tressa. Donate one point to Tressa. For you. Tressa. Ah! Ouch. That was a bad poison. I saw one. Do this. Bad in having to do it twice. Ability right now. on someone. Let's do it on Ophelia. Heal. Oh no! For you! Now, ah! ouch. What next? Uh, ah! A great inferno to scorch so, the land! Around 15,000 damage this time. A great inferno to scorch the land! Thus, that was actually hard again. That uh, super poison was something I should have gotten rid of as soon as I got it. I, I, I seems this is a spot Balth Balthasar marked on his map. What is this treasure then? Wow! It's gorgeous. Oh. And what's this? A uh, letter? Yeah! Addressed to Mr. Leon. I'll make sure it reaches him. That was easy. Easy enough. Elderite and letter from, from Baltasar required. Need some money here as well. Alright, let's go back to the tavern and turn or give him that letter and the Elderite. Mr. Leon. Huh? There's no mistaking it. I just gonna. This is the Elderite. This was also in the chest. Mm -hmm. A letter? Did you ever find what's most precious to you? Balthazar. Leon, what's more precious to you than anything in the world? Most precious? All my treasures are precious. <laughs> I didn't mean gold or gems, Leon. Then what did you mean? Do ye have something so dear to your heart that ye'd risk life and limb for it? When we were lads in that poor town, we thought having riches was all there was to life. But I've been wondering lately if that's the life worth living. And then I wonder what life is worth living. I use me strength to steal from the weak. Just like ye, Leon. And it took years of looting to realize that none of it meant anything to me. No. Not everything that glitters is gold. Pirates with a conscience. Those there are those out there. After the final race with Balthazar, I couldn't stop thinking about his last words. 
If I win, you hand over your most precious treasure. But what was my most precious treasure? In the coming days, I kept asking myself the same question. But I never came to an answer. Until one day, I realized... I'd obtained nothing. Just like Balthazar, I no longer had a reason to continue as a pirate. I lowered my flag. And I dedicated myself to repairing Balthazar's ship. I decided to pursue the dream of my friend in his stead. And so, I became the captain of a merchant ship. Huh. Oh, really? I want you to keep that stone, lass. Really? <laughs> but it belonged to your friend. Oh, it belongs to you. This letter is all I need. That stone holds no meaning to me. Are you sure? Didn't you say so? Everyone has something precious to them. Whether it be land, riches, honor, or what have you, there is an abundance of treasure in this world. But there is only space in one's heart for a single, truly precious treasure. And I found mine. Balthazar's ship. It gave me another chance at life. Mr. Leon? What is your most precious treasure? It's... What is your most precious treasure? I, I don't know yet. But I know I'll find it someday. Aye. With those keen eyes, I have no doubt you will. But be prepared. Your life will never be the same after. Farewell, lass. Bon voyage! Voyage. Toodaloo! Those two are quite the pair. Mac and Mac. My most precious treasure. I saw Mr. Leon again. He taught me that there is only one true treasure in a person's life. I haven't found that treasure in my life yet. But I'll keep searching until I do. It's just girl. a matter of time now. With the Eldrite in hand, I'm ready for the auction. Right, that's what I'm bringing to the auction then. Watch out, Merchant's Fair! Here I come! It's gonna be stolen. I have a feeling it's gonna be stolen. Was that hooded figure walking around? Most precious treasure. Well, that went smoothly. The boss was fairly difficult. Nothing out of the or out of the ordinary, but not easy. All right, next up, I'm gonna do Hanit's chapter three. Let's head to Still Snow and switch my party members around again. It's, uh, all of her equipment. Let's change my party to include Hanit instead of Pressa. Guess I'll equip here now actually. Let me go to the menu because I wanna switch, give her a secondary job. And with the warrior. I like it because it gives quite a lot of life and stuff, which is useful to to her. Wait, two thousand life. I have 
might have a hard time if I have to challenge stuff now. Hopefully I'll be able to sort to win anyway, but... Yes, I am. Um, stuff, I suppose I should say. Yes, I am not very high leveled at the moment. Err. Uh, let me go rest, and then I'm gonna save, and that's gonna be it for this one. I'm feeling that I'll most likely need to provoke as well, which is, could be problematic. Since I am such a relatively low level, I mean, I'm 30. 18 levels levels beneath the recommended one for this, or she is anyway. Um, yeah, that's kind of it for this one. So finished off Tressa's chapter 3, and next time I'll be moving on with uh, Hans chapter 3. So looking forward, with that, forward to that, but yeah, that's it for this one. So until next time, have a good time!